Hi everyone, this is Maths for Uni. Today I'll be discussing Step 2 2019, Question 1, and this is the first video of three. If you find this content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out both of our Udemy courses, of which the links are in the description. This part of the question says, let f of x be equal to x minus p times g of x, where g is a polynomial. Show that the tangent to the curve y equals f of x at the point with x equals a, where a is not equal to p, passes through the point p0 if and only if g prime of a is equal to 0. So we have our f of x as being x minus p times g of x. And in this part of the question, we are interested in the tangent to this curve at x equals a. If we use the usual straight line formula, then we have y minus f of a is equal to f prime of a times x minus a. This is the equation of the tangent to this curve at x equals a. We have essentially y minus y zero equals m times x minus x zero, where m is the gradient f prime of a, and we have the point a f of a that this tangent goes through. So now it's the case that we need to calculate this f of a and f prime of a here. So firstly, f of a, that's quite simple. We just get a minus p times g of a. Next, we need f prime of a, so let's calculate f prime of x in general. Using the product rule, we can differentiate the x minus p to give us a 1, and so we have just g of x, or we can leave it alone and get x minus p and then differentiate the g. Therefore, Putting in x equals a will give us f prime of a equals g of a plus a minus p g prime of a. So therefore, the tangent is going to be y minus a minus p g of a for f of a is equal to f prime of a, so that's that, g of a plus a a minus p g prime of a and then we have the x minus a. This is the tangent to the curve y equals f of x at the point x equals a. In this part of the question we want to show that this tangent here passes through the point p0 if and only if g prime of a is equal to zero. So if we begin by taking the case that this tangent passes through p or and then zero, then we want to show that g prime of a is equal to zero. And then we'll do the other direction afterwards. So if we have this condition here, then we can put p in for x and 0 in for y, and we get another equation. So minus a minus p g of a is equal to g of a plus a minus p g prime of a, and then we have a p minus a. On the left-hand side, this here 
is p minus a g of a by bringing the minus sign inside and then we have a p minus a g of a on both sides which cancels and therefore we have minus p minus a squared g prime of a is equal to zero which is just this term here. We note that in the question we have been told that a is not equal to p and therefore p minus a or p minus a all squared is not equal to zero. As a result the only possibility is that g prime of a is equal to zero. So that's one direction of the if and only if. Now we need to look at the other direction. Now we assume that g prime of a is equal to zero and see what the consequences are. We want to show that this means that the tangent passes through the point p zero. If we have this condition, then what does the tangent line itself become? Well, this is the tangent line here, but g prime of a is zero, and so this term here is ignored because we just get zero, and so therefore the tangent line is going to be y minus a minus p g of a is equal to g of a times x minus a because we only have this term here. Then we notice that both sides has a minus a g of a and so those two cancel and we can put the minus minus p g of a onto this side and factorize and get that we have y equals g of a times x minus p. Writing the tangent line in this form means that we can easily see that this tangent line goes through the point p0. This is because when x equals p, we have p minus p, so 0, that's 0 on the right hand side, and then consequently y is equal to 0. So the tangent line goes through this point. As a result, we now have shown the if and only if directions, and so therefore the tangent line goes through the point p0, if and only if, represented by an arrow in both implication directions, g prime of a is equal to zero. It's important to carefully show both directions when doing an if and only if like this, because not all implications can be reversed in both directions. But in particular, we looked at both directions and showed that if we have this, then we have this, and similarly, if we have this, then we have this. Hence, we have the if and only if. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out both of our Udemy courses, of which the links are in the description please be sure to check out the next two parts for this step to question one. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.